My name is Brandi Brooks. I'm the Director of Community Programs at The Food Project. And the key thing that I work on is really how to support and inspire other people to change the way that the food system works for them and for their communities. I think some of the key oppressions that you see are oppression by race or ethnicity, oppression by class or income, uh, oppression by language, sometimes by geography. Uh, age can be a factor, especially in terms of how youth and the elderly have access, and also gender in some cases. I think the, the way that you really see it operate is, is who's in charge of making decisions around what happens related to a community's food system. And, and that can take so many different angles. It could be who gets to be a part of making decisions about how land is used in a community, whether or not it can be used for agriculture, whether or not people from the community can purchase it. Uh, those folks are often, um, they tend to be white, and especially in dealing with minority communities, that's a real issue. Um, they tend to be income and power elites. So if you are low income or if you do have less formal education in a community, your right or your, your privilege to be involved in those decision-making systems is severely restricted. Um, one of the things our organization does is work with youth. Um, and we have a lot of conversations about how young people are not considered oftentimes valid citizens yet in determining what should happen. So when you're having conversations about school food, do those conversations about school food include talking and working with young people around organizing for what they want to see in terms of, of good food in their schools? So those are some of the ways that you can see um, how power dynamics operate to exclude people from being able to determine what their food system should be like in their community.